Hello XPS friends and and presenting Dom Dom Tech. Today we are doing a video about the Dell XPS 17. This is a two months reveal of the machine using its everyday Please subscribe my channel. Over to you, my dumb dumb tech daddy. Let's go! <laughs> that was fantastic, Rosie. You are an angel. Thank you very much for that nice, sweet comment. Um, that was in her own world, words, guys. Um, please subscribe to the channel and make a six years old kid happy. Um, it's her channel, I'm doing it for her. Thank you very much. Alright, um, getting down to business. Um, I had this for two months, so I'm going to do my um, conclusions or my thoughts of using this laptop for the last two months. I thought I'd put on this Mercedes uh, Benz video. Um, the futuristic car is, is fantastic. Look up on the internet yourself. Uh, it looks well designed. I think this simulates uh, the match of performance or design in a way, the luxurious feel of this laptop. Um, uh, when you have it, um, it, 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 it's special. It's a special machine. Uh, uh, it's just amazing the 17 screen which, which you get with it. So um, yeah, I called the XPS 15 and, Mercedes and the Mercedes Benz class of laptops. This is the Mercedes Benz futuristic S class supercar laptop model. Um, well, I'm I'm going off track here. Um, right, starting for the build. Uh, aluminium build. Oh well, I'll put the specs of this machine first up on the screen. You will see now. Um, now I'm going to go and talk about the design and construction. At the end, I will give uh, all all the results, uh, the marks, and uh, all that stuff um, uh, to let you know my thoughts on it. Um, the design and construction, uh, what I think of it, uh, the solid aluminium is amazing. Um, I don't know what with that, there were some crumbs that my daughter left, but uh, the aluminium build is solid, the lid is solid, it's a solid machine, it's light and portable, um, great, it's excellent. Um, I, I, I did a few videos on that, I'm not going to go over it again. But uh, the backlit keyboard um, is grey. I just turn it on and off. You won't be able to see it because there's not enough lighting. Uh, keyboards are really soft to type. It's it's a delight. It's a, it, 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 these are so soft to type on, and, and it, they got a nice uh, uh, feel effect when you type on them. Um, it's good travel on them. Um, super soft, um, and there's a, a return to your fingers when you get it back. Um, it's, it, it won't hurt your fingers in the long term. It's such a nice machine to type fast on. Um, the trackpad. The trackpad pad is... Uh, they got it right finally on this machine, which I'm so happy about. That. On the XPS 17s, the trackpad is better than the XPS 15s um, because of the, 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 the framework underneath is more supported. Uh, on the XPS 15, it's a bit bigger, speaking to the SP, uh, um, Dell engineer who replaced the battery on this XPS 17, which I was uh, doing some battery tests, and the first battery was giving out uh, uh, some uh, abnormal results, so they changed the batteries um, for this XPS. Um, fingerprint scanner is, is, is great. Super fingerprint scanner, um, yeah, uh, excellent to work with. Uh, uh, the only time I had thoughts is when it went to sleep mode sometimes, and then I opened the lid up. It it could rec recognize my fingerprint. Uh, I don't know why, but I just typed the password, and then it was okay. And then the next time I closed the lid and checked it again, it worked. Um, the the ports, yeah, you got four. Um, USB-C ports, uh, just unplug it and let you see. So on the right hand side you got the SD card reader, uh, two uh, USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, uh, headphone jack. Um, I wish um, you can plug in the um, 
SD card reader all the way in. It will go all the way in, but it doesn't. It sticks far halfway out, which is okay. It's not bad, but uh, it's the same imitation as Apple really uh, on these ports. Um, and there's two others over here on the other side, on the left hand side, uh, USB Type C again, and um, uh, security lock on the end. Um, but I wish the only thing that's missing is um, the Ethernet port, Type A uh, USB ports, and the um, HDMI port, which I, I wish they had or would give me a, a docking station. But you, you get one, uh, one of um, USBs. They give you a dongle, USB uh, Type A dongle. Uh, C to a dongle with, with the machine, which is quite good. Um, right, so display. The, I've I have the UHD um, Plus display, which is fantastic. It's it's um, touch screen and it's bezel-less. Uh, fantastic to watch anything on. Um, work with read text scroll your internet pages, read documents, anything you want. It's a fantastic screen. Um, I love it to bits. Uh, got no complaints about that. The only, the only downfall is I think is 60 hertz. Um, when you're uh, um, playing games that need a fast refresh rate, you won't you won't cope with that. Uh, most games won't cope with 4K anyway, so uh, it's best to play um, games in 1080p. Uh, I'll get that to that later. Um, the only disappointment with the display is this IR, uh, this infrared webcam camera, which is uh, 720p. It, it creates too much noise and over saturates the image. Um, uh, so you look so noisy in the background, and it gives too much red hue. It is I wish it it was better for twenty eight seven twenty camera, but it is what you get, and it's it's the well the, the poor component of this machine. I think one of the poor com poor components. Um, battery battery. I found the battery. T oh, today I got a, a whole working day off this battery. Of uh, 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 which surprised me. Um, uh, minimum, I would say you get four hours if you're doing uh, gaming and video editing at high, using high performance task applications. If you're doing day to day work average um, continuously working on this la laptop without, without giving it a break, um, I would say six hours, uh, six, to seven, six to seven hours ish. Uh, and if you're uh, non uh, continuous use of this laptop, uh, which means you're uh, closing the lid and you're just using it, using it here and there at certain times. I would say you get 11, 11 hours plus, um, um, around 11 hours to 12 hours ish um, of non, non continuous use. The battery life is good on this machine, you get 97,000 milliwatts hour on, on, on this machine. Uh, they did have to change the battery, as I said, because the previous one I was doing benchmarks to it. Um, it wasn't going over ninety thousand milliwatts an hour, but um, on the full recharge, uh, so they changed the battery, and now it's, it's getting above that, uh, which I'm happy about. Uh, but it's got three hundred uh, life cycles of the battery until you can change it. Um, sound, sound is awesome. So, uh, you get two uh, uh, left and right speakers, top firing speakers are uh, 2.5 watts um, each. Uh, you got stereo twitters at the, at the side which is uh, 1.5 watts uh, left and right. Um, yeah, uh, total around 8, eight watts altogether. Um, the microphone's okay on this machine, it's not the loudest I would say. It depends on your voice if you shout or you have a loud voice. My voice is average or soft some, um, uh, and uh, can be quiet sometimes. Um, um, 
I, I, I just want to point out the design. Some people, some negatives about the, the this front edge. I didn't find any problems with this front edge. Um, some people rest their forearms like this um, over it, and uh, sometimes it hurts their arms um, when they rest it. I never had that problem. It, 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 it's um, yeah, it's how you use it. I I put my wrists and forearms above, uh, and they'll rest on the palm. I may rest my hand on the on the top deck of the, of the um, of the laptop, but I I don't rest it along the edge, so it doesn't affect me. Um, the come uh, performance performance is good. Uh, the only negative I found in the performance is um, Intel. Oh well. The website or Dell claims you can get 5.1 gigahertz um, clock speed, fastest clock speed. I tested it. Uh, you see, you will see um, some results coming up soon. Um, I only got up to 4.6 gigahertz speed. So uh, for the the Intel's uh, chip in this, the 10875H is uh, at. 2.330 gigahertz. Uh, you meant the clock speed is supposed to go up to 5.1, but it doesn't. It goes up to f well. In my results, the running Cinnamon Bench and running uh, rendering applications, I got 4.6 average or below. Um, so I, I would like to find out how you can get that, or if anyone knows how to get that, that'd be uh, great feedback if you know. How to get the get the top speed out of it? Um, but I found the whole bundle with the Intel uh, powerful Intel eight core CPU chips in this, and the RTS uh, uh, twenty sixty uh, Max Q card and video card, and um, the, you get the SSD one terabyte SSD. You got sixteen gigs of RAM. Uh, the whole bundle, I would say. Um, Gives it the whole uh, great performance for the machine. I never had no crashes. Uh, running, running everything was smooth and buttery. Um, yeah, I was amazed at the performance compared to my old laptops. Um, uh, along with the performance, the thermals, the thermals um, when it's going running at high speed or if you're doing intensive tasks, um, the fans cool it down extremely well. I, uh, you can put it on your lap and the fans, uh, you won't feel much heat of it because the fans deal with it really well. So the, these vapor chamber fans are amazing. Um, thumbs up uh, for the designers of making them. Um, connectivity. The Wi-Fi, uh, the only niggle with the Wi-Fi, or the, it used to drop once, when I first got this laptop, it used to drop once or uh, twice a day. Uh, because uh, I, f I, f I discovered the uh, the root uh, the card was too advanced for my router, so it's new technology, the Wi-Fi six card, and my router was uh, like a Virgin router, um, which has some auto negotiate negotiate band, which the card cannot negotiate with. So I took that off. So you go out, if you're having the same problems, go to your router. And take off that auto negotiate frequency um, Wi-Fi range, so it doesn't change the channels. Um, uh, and stick to one channel, choose a channel which the car just can go to on, onto your router, and that will fix it. Um, Bluetooth works well. I had a Bluetooth mouse. Uh, it connects well. Bluetooth headphones. Uh, it works extremely well. You won't have any problems with that. Office work. Uh, office work is. Working with this laptop is amazing. I mean, I I I, I run I multitask through Microsoft applications, Office, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, access and the whole suite of on Microsoft Office. Or we're running, I'm running remote desktop tools to um, log onto my PC at work in the office uh, during this time, and it's it, it works well. I, I I never had a really crash out the system um, so it's, it's, it's up there it's, it's, it's so good gaming gaming uh, first time I was gaming on this machine and I've been playing um, all sorts of oh, graphite photo fortnite 
um, some of uh, yeah, some of the games coming up on the screen, which I can't remember because there's uh, there's a lot going on at the moment. Um, sorry, uh, sorry. Um, let's get back <laughs> to that. Um, so gaming, gaming is uh, game, gaming is fantastic on this machine. Uh, playing with the Wazi, Waz keys and the mouse, um, it's it's great. Um, the resolution for some games, I mean, I played, uh, I had Grand Theft Auto on the 4K mode or the UHD uh, UHD mode, and the uh, resolution wasn't as sharp as the 1080p mode. Where if you're gonna play games, play it in 1080p mode on this machine. It's much faster. Uh, this the, the sharpness is much clearer, uh, uh, and it's got almost the same frame rates, but um, but the the the, the images look uh, you 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 uh, you won't get no um, ghosting or how would you say it? some lines uh, double lines in some features of the uh, outlines of of the gra um, graphical objects or characters um, so yeah switch to 1080p for gaming for the super experience uh, of playing games on this machine video editing video editing is amazing this machine is so good on video editing I, I had the Dell the XPS9500 when I was scrolling through the, the, the time skips you know uh, the frames in the timeline um, during video editing, uh, this machine is so fast and it never blurred out the image um, compared to the XPS. When, when when you use it for a long time, actually over a period of time, it, it's it's fantastic. It, it, uh, I, I love it for um, video editing this machine. And uh, again, photo editing is going to be amazing as well because of the screen or how big it is. Um, I mean, the UHD screen is amazing. That the full HD screen is would be amazing too. Um, I I think uh, if you're doing gaming and so on, and you don't need the touch screen, screen, um, it, it's an amazing screen too. Um, oh, what multimedia? Watching the movies, TV, YouTube, Netflix, uh, etc. It, 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 it's a it's a massive experience. Um, Watching this, um, I just play anything at the moment. Um, yeah, you, you, it's just, you, you get the sound, you get everything. You get a multi a whole multimedia bundle system in a way with this machine. Uh, upgradeability is incredible on this machine. Um, if you uh, if you can take out the base, I saw when they was changing the battery. I, I saw the Dell engineer take out the base, uh, replace the batteries in uh, in less than five minutes. Uh, it, it was so easy. Um, it, it's got an extra SD card slot, um, extra, um, uh, extra RAM slot as well. So uh, you, you can it's easy to upgrade. The only thing is this Wi-Fi card is soldered in, so that's. That's hard to replace, but all the rest of the components are complete. Uh, can be replaced. I think on if you buy the base version of this and you want to upgrade a dedicated graphics card later, you can. There's a slot for that as well, but you have to buy that separately. Um, for value and price, value and price. Um, I will say this is really good bang for your buck if you compare it to. Um, the Apple Mac Pro 16. I mean, you're paying for the same specs or similar specs, or like for large. The Apple Mac Pro is going to cost a lot more, uh, hundreds of pounds or more. Uh, plus, you don't get a bigger screen than this one. Um, but um, yes, you can get all these other laptops like the Razer Bay Pro uh, 17, the Legion 7. Um, but it doesn't have that premium look or that design, that aluminium uniform design like uh, this this laptop has. I mean, this is a straightforward imitation of the MacBook Pro, uh, but in a Windows ecosystem. So if you're like 
if you love your Windows ecosystem, go with this laptop, or you can always install uh, VMware or Linux on on this laptop, uh, which is easy to do. Um, uh, and finally, a special mention to Dell support. They've been helping me out uh, really good. Uh, the only downfall is the QC issues of all these SPS lines for the 15. I had two SPS 15s and now two SPS 17s. There's an inconsistency with quality control, uh, which uh, sometimes there are people who get good laptops, some people who in my community or they reply back to me they have the same experience of bad fans, bad uh, trap pad and so on um, so this uh, they got to improve more on the quality um, control um, aspect of these, uh, releasing these laptops to, to, to us um, and uh, yeah the first thing you if the support is been good for me because I've been doing it through email. I've uh, been giving them results through emails. So I recommend the email way. Just log on to the web, uh, website, fill out the web form case. You have a problem or issue here. Or get back to your account manager. Uh, and um, ask them to raise a technical um, case with you, your laptop. Um, okay, um, so the total score I'm giving this is I averaged everything up just ninety one percent, which is high score. Um, anything ninety over ninety is superb, uh, and it is a superb luxury machine. I, it's it's really breathtaking just seeing all these Mercedes uh, cars. is is amazing, um, and this is a <laughs> amazing laptop. Um, so uh, that's the end of my uh, video. Uh, Great. Okay, guys. I uh, hope to um, speak to see you soon, and uh, take care. Be back soon. Bye.